Hey, uh, I can see the inside of this mask. Can you see anything beyond? No. Okay. I can see the dress right here. <laughs> it just, it, it kind of depends on what kind of dojo you guys are running over there. Are you guys running a good dojo? A good one. Or a bad dojo? <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Thank you for visiting with me today. So today we're going to be putting this look together and we're going to start with the hands. So we're going to reposition the camera so you could see how I do that. <clears throat> okay, so what we're going to do first is he's going to put these gloves on. Um, these are my Cruella DeVille gloves. I just cut the fingers off. So I'm using electrical tape for the nails. Which finger do you want me to start with? This one. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of make a claw. Instead of putting artificial nails on Eric. And so I'm going to do this to all of his fingers. And then I'm gonna use black make. Is that too tight? Mm -mm. And then I'm gonna use black makeup to make them look a little dirty and to blend in. No, we're not gonna do that oh. one next. You know, at work, it's like stress, mental health awareness, don't kill anybody month. Um, mm -hmm. But they were showing us how we could different fingers represent different things, and the middle finger is anger. <laughs> I thought it was funny that mm. the middle finger was anger. This one? Mm hmm. I'm like, oh, that makes sense. <laughs> mm. Okay, I'll show y'all how I do one more. This one I may have gotten a little too much tape. Okay, and then I just squeeze it to shape it the way I want. We can also take scissors to sharpen them up if we want to. Okay, here, show them your nails, your claws. So I made these just with electrical tape. They don't look that great, but they look good enough. Now, I'm gonna take some black from this Morphe palette for anyone who cares what palette I'm using, which I don't know why you would care, it's just black. Just black eyeshadow. And just start right on the electrical tape and just work down the finger and just blend it out and just keep doing it till I have it looking dirty enough. See? Something like that. Okay, so here they are. The fingers are more or less done. So now we're going to move on to uh, painting his face black in the parts that are going to be exposed. All right, so this is Eric's face, and we're going to paint it black all the way across here, a good chunk of it, with um, this, I think this says Global Studios Body Art. This is water activated body paint. So, can, are you able to hold this? Yep. Eric is going to hold my cup of water, and I'm going to use this little brush and just kind of rub it in there until I kind of activate it a little bit and get it going. Then it doesn't have to be pretty. Because we just need to darken the area. but we do want it to be as black as we can get it. So I'm gonna have to put it in your mustache too, it's okay? Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna cover probably more than I need to just to make sure. Okay. 
Okay, so we're gonna let this dry. And after I put the mask on, I'll probably get in there with some more black. Okay, so here is the mask. If you've watched my channel at all, you've seen me put this guy together. It's um, a rubber, like just a cheap rubber bald cap I got at Walmart um, during Halloween season. Figuring I'd find a purpose for it because it's not good as a bald cap. And then I used that as my base and built up the mask with um, liquid latex and cotton balls. And then I painted it with gouache paint and the teeth are made out of artificial nails. Um, the mouth is a little bigger than I wanted it to be, but I mean, I think you get the general idea. So we're gonna put this on Eric and then we're gonna put the finishing touches on. Okay, you ready, Eric? Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't wanna hurt you. Yes, you do. I do not. Okay. I didn't do the neck, which I probably should have, but that's okay. You got it positioned the way you want it? Mm-hmm. It's kind of crooked. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> Okay. Can you hold this for me? Okay. Now we're just going to get in here. And I have this, like, extra flap in here. That Maybe I should just try that. It's too thick to cut off, so I'm just going to paint it black. And he has pretty much zero visibility right now. Right, Eric? Mm-hmm. Okay. Actually, I don't think I need to get in there anymore. So what we're gonna do, do now is I'm gonna try and make these deep scrapes look more, um, hold on. Okay. More looksy-ish. And he's a little dirty. So just very lightly just start going around. Which is, I'm just using black eyeshadow if I can blend it out. <coughs> Looks he has a little cold. I'm going to use this BH Cosmetics lip gloss that is a perfect blood color. And I'm going to go in the scrapes with it. I exclusively use this for blood. And that'll give us a little glisteniness. And then we'll go in with um, scab blood. Okay, because I don't use that that voil for anything else but blood, I'm going to go ahead and use the brush in it to dip in my scab blood. This is such glorious blood right here. I love it. So I'm just going to scoop some up and just kind of just spread it in there. Very kind of jelly. almost like a jam. Now I'll wipe this off the mask when I take it off of him and put it up because I'm not throwing this guy away because I worked hard on him. Now, 
of course, if you were using your fake blood on multiple people, you'd want to use clean, new applicators every time so you don't contaminate. And you'd also want to scoop blood out and use it instead of keep dipping into the thing. But it's just us and we're the only ones that'll use this blood, so. You ripped the tooth out, now you look silly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here, put these up higher. Can you do it more cross? Like, I know that jacket's not easy to <laughs> Maybe move Maybe cut the coat in the back. Yeah, I can, but. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that looks good, except look, he's a Bucky now. Oh, mm. that's what's getting you right there. That's what it is. Okay. He he, he got a tooth knocked out. <laughs> sorry, I've been uncomfortable since 7 o'clock this morning. I know, I'm sorry. I don't I'm recommend sorry. deep sea fishing <laughs> to anyone. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I get it. But it looks really good, though. <laughs> okay, let me take some photos. Oh, well, anyway, that's it. That's our look-see. Yay! I'll uh, attach some photos at the end of this. And thank you all for watching. I was really excited about this project because I love, love, love Crypt TV. It's like one of my favorite things in the world. And I love look because he's so scary. He looks sad. Here, watch out, Tina. <laughs> Here, look, give me a kiss. Mm. Ah, look, he's got lips on him. <laughs> oh, I got blood on my nose now. Okay, look, look at this. Family picture. <laughs>